Hi everyone, Johnny from WP Johnny here to talk to you today about Cloudflare. So one common question I usually get from clients and other people on the internet is whether or not they should use Cloudflare for their WordPress site, what are the benefits, um, are there any pros and cons, should they get the, the free or the paid plan? So the first thing is what is Cloudflare? So what most people know Cloudflare as is a CDN service, that's a content delivery network they cache your static files, CSS, JS, images onto their content delivery network, which is all their mirrored servers all around the world. And then when your user connects to your website, they download the content from the nearest Cloudflare mirrored server instead of connecting all the way to your origin server, which may be you know, many miles away, many kilometers away, super far, and take longer to load. So most people, again, they think of Cloudflare as a CDN. Uh, what I think of Cloudflare is, is a DNS service. So that's the first thing. Uh, Cloudflare at the very uh, first level is a DNS service. And because they control your DNS, they can manipulate the content, right? Because they're connecting you to the content and they're kind of, you know, they're kind of connecting users to the content and also connecting your content to the users. So because they have their, they're at the DNS layer, they can kind of manipulate your content and cache it or control it or, or somehow change the way that it loads to make it load faster or better or differently or in a more secure manner. And then likewise, um, because they connect your traffic to your content, they can also manipulate the traffic, right? They can filter it, they can redirect it, they can, you know, with their Argo platform, they can direct it through a, a faster DNS hop somewhere else or they can use security uh, security filters and firewalls to reject some of these bad traffic, right? Bots and hackers before they get to your site. So it's really cool, their, their platform is really cool. It can do many things and Cloudflare is so much more than a CDN. So let's start with the first question. Should you use Cloudflare? I say yes. I say yes, everyone should use Cloudflare. Why? Because it's free, it's awesome. Um, and and what what specifically when I talk about Cloudflare, uh, which which uh, what aspects of Cloudflare, right? So the first thing is I believe everyone should use Cloudflare for their DNS, and the reason why is they have oh no this is not what I want uh, fastest DNS servers yeah. So, okay, there you go. That's Cloudflare server, the orange <laughs> one, 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 one. That was part of their community project. So, at the very beginning, uh, for at the very first thing, everyone should use Cloudflare for their DNS. Um, I think they're a great company. They're very progressive. I think the your data is secure. I, I think you should use it. And they're the, they have the fastest DNS servers, right? They're the fastest lookup times, and it's free. And not only that, not only is it free and it's fast, but what I really like is it allows you to invite other people to manage your DNS. So I add every domain to it and then I you know, invite other people to manage your DNS. Or actually other people invite me, they invite my account to manage their DNS, which is really helpful. Um, there's also, uh, there's also one, so once you get it, it's a free service, it's a free DNS service but they also have domain registration. So if you qualify for it, you should totally use it. It's like eight bucks a month, comes with free privacy and all that. I use it, I'm a big fan of Cloudflare. Okay, so you should use their, uh, their, their DNS service. Now, then comes the second service, which is, the, which is what everyone asks about. Should you use their, their, their CDN service? So it's like this. They have the Cloudflare DNS service and then they have the Cloudflare performance and security proxy. So once you enable the proxy, um, when you go to your DNS settings, there, there's a place where it says proxy, and when you click on it, it turns orange into an orange cloud. And if you click on it again, it turns gray. So if you click on it and it turns gray, that means you're using only the DNS service, which is fast. And then if you click on it and it turns orange, you are now using Cloudflare's proxy service. When you're using their, their oh, sorry, let me, let me clear it up. If it's on a gray cloud, okay then that means Cloudflare is only a DNS service 
So then when your users uh, go to your website, they connect directly to your website. Cloudflare just gets them to your web server faster. It doesn't do anything. Now, if you enable the proxy, then you're enabling Cloudflare's CDN service and their security service. So what their security service is, they filter out bad, you know, the hackers and robots and whatnot. Does that mean no hackers will ever get in? Of course not. Hackers can still kind of get in. Um, and, but it, it does block a lot of bot traffic or fake traffic, you know, so it's it just less load on your origin server, right? Less crap traffic. Now, the other thing, uh, the this, this CDN service is it caches your content to, to all the Cloudflare servers around the world and the users will download from those servers. So the big question is for me, um, should you use Cloudflare? I would say this, the easiest way without having to be scientific is enable it and see if your content loads faster. If it doesn't load faster, then you already know Cloudflare doesn't help you. Then just check off the orange cloud and, and put it on gray cloud and, and you still get to benefit from Cloudflare's fast DNS service. Okay, uh, so what are some things I can say about Cloudflare? I would say if you don't have a lot of visitors or if your visitors are local, then you're probably better off not using Cloudflare's proxy. Also, if you have certain types of content that Cloudflare doesn't doesn't cache or doesn't do a CDN for, then you may want to use another CDN. Now, you can still use Cloudflare's DNS service with another CDN company. So you can totally mix the two. It's totally fine. Um, also, if you're in Australia or Asia, I think you may find that Cloudflare's service is slower than just having your users connect to your origin server. Um, there's also, uh, should you get the free or the paid plan? I've always used the free plan. I really didn't see much benefit in the paid plan, but I do feel like maybe in the paid plan, maybe they use better servers. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe they use faster servers because you know, they have a free service. I can't imagine that they would use the, the best, best, best servers for their free CDN service. So, but either way, the easiest thing, what I recommend is that you give it a try. You install it on your site. It's super easy to do. Install it and just see if it helps you. And if you need any, uh, if you have questions about what settings to put, what are, what, what are my recommended settings, I have that in some other videos. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.